Hello you magnificent bastards and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Dawn of the Vikings. I'm your host the Revenge and today we're going to um, expand Scandinavia some more hopefully. Uh, first let's have a look at what we did last time. We murdered our two brothers which you can see here. Look. Under suspicious circumstances. They, they both died because of me. I poisoned their wine and let them be raided by bandits. But um, so, so that was all good. I can see that France is in a um, civil war of some kind, um, but at the same time he still has some some big help with um, the Queen of Asturias and the King of Lombardy. It might be though that... No, she's also helping the King of France, so she, she they could all help him. And let's have a look at um, the people they can muster. Wow, uh, that's about 20k, and I don't think we can do that. So, let's stay calm there and uh, just try and uh, get Saxony, I guess. Could maybe take a bit of Saxony. Or maybe we could detect a revolt, even. Let's have a look. Um... Oh, this is entirely of the revolt, Friesland, or Friesland as it's actually called. Um, so we could declare war on him. How many men does he have? About 3k. We can probably take him in a holy war for either Brabant, which is over here, which is quite a bit of land, or Gallery, which is all of this. And that would actually get us the two holdings that we're missing in Gallery. So I actually think that is... Uh, better because that would make our borders a bit neater so let's do that um, it's a holy war though uh, but then again there's some wars going on here so hopefully it doesn't matter it's a bit scary but we're gonna do it gonna call in our banners And move in on the Holstein, I think, at first. And people join in. Of course, I forget the speed again. There we go, everyone is moving. Oh, apparently Flanders has joined in the war. As well as the King of Lombardy, that's a little bit what I was afraid of. And again, we don't have too few men. I don't know, it might be a problem. Oh, well that, that's actually helpful because I was a little bit worried now. And um, the war ended inconclusively, so we're not in trouble. <laughs> was a bit scary for a moment there. Um, let's see, he has the ally of Weimar, which is... where? Where's Weimar? That is in Saxony, so how is he an ally? Oh, whatever. Um, and he's got 900 men. It's not really an issue. Um, we can... Uh, does your claim some stuff? We actually don't have a holy war on him, so I guess he's of the new Germanic faith. Yeah, he's a reformed pagan. What a bastard. You can make him a tributary as well. Um, or just uh, get some land here. We could either get that one or that one. I guess Sally is easier because that would actually connect our land. Um, and that is for my vassal, the Archpriestess of Brunswick. Which I guess is actually part... yeah, that's that's fine. So, let's do that. Did you claim on Sally? There we go. Let's again call in everything. Actually, did I do this correctly? I think so. Um, so, let's get our banners this one time we go to Slicewick. People are honoring the call again. We 
we suffer a defeat here because they quickly took Holstein. We have to conquer that back, but I don't think that'll be a big issue. Once everything is gathered together. Already people are moving in, maybe? My liege, my mission to galleries has so far been a success. Oh, uh, you know what? We don't really need that anymore. Actually, we might need some um, some claims over here. So let's try and get a claim on Hamburg. Actually, let's move in here because this is a big battle, possibly. And we can help him out. Here we go. Now everyone is moving in. Now let's unseach Holstein. It's only one person in there defending. That's not a good idea, I have to say. Uh, the population of Osnabrück has been converted as well. Look, it's it's looking good. Germanic faith is slowly taking over the world. That's always the problem with uh, reforming: is that uh, at first you just don't have uh, control over over the whole religion. Slowly you have to phase out the old faith. Can create nine titles, two children, lack guardians. This one I could educate myself. Oh, that's my heir actually. That's not the one I want. I want myself. Am I in there? No. Um, oh, nice. Nedeke has been converted as well. Now let's have a look what the next thing is. Maybe also Gotland. Um, and let's have a look at the children again. This one can be educated by anyone. And this one I kind of want to educate myself. Or wait, is oh, it's my cousin. That actually doesn't matter. I thought it was my second son or something. Do I have a second son? Yeah, I do. But he's only three years old, so that'll take a little while. Didn't realize. Everyone is sitting on all the counties of this lord. Uh, it seems that France is, well, he's still in one war. Um, I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeons. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them, to hear the sweet screams, to see the panic in their eyes. Am I cruel? I'm just paranoid, it seems. Oh, it's not... Could torture this this woman. Ah, oh, no, let's let's not. Just get some extra piety from it. That's fine. And there we are, at hundred percent. So we can offer peace, enforce demands, and Sally is mine. And now we have continuous borders. Well, almost. We still need to go there. How's Franz doing? He still got allies at the Wazoo. But he's in a fight for Bavaria. Uh, well, but he can still call in most of his allies. And for some reason we can't attack this one. Oh, that's of course because we have our levies raised. So let's get our levies out of there. This band. There we go. Another child likes a guardian. Go. And let's have a look at whether we can. Oh, we could get a great holy war going. Is this. Yeah, this is that guy with a high marshal. We don't wanna. And this one is um, not a high marshal character, so we can attack him. And he refuses. 
That's good. But let's have a look at her wars again. We could just get a conquest going. What allies does she have? Not really much. And we also managed to converse to Ostergotland. So then we can go to Chust. But um, I think, yeah, she's still blocked from moving because she's done her work so fast. So let's have a look again at what we can take. Um, I'm thinking that Bruges might be a good one for now because it's right next right next to Zealand. Um, yeah, I think that's good. So let's do that. Also, have to appoint a new marshal. Train some troops in my home county. Um, so we again raise our men and ask our banners and you know what I'm not even gonna bother with these three armies they're just too small so we're gonna move on to gallery And maybe we should move, uh, make our move on um, on Ireland as well again soon. Ooh, Artois actually decided to. No, actually, the <laughs> the King of Fran uh, Flanders or the the Duchess of Flanders actually decided that it was a good idea right now to um, to start a war to revoke Artois. I don't know if that was a good idea. Probably not, really. What a dum-dum. So here we're moving in. There's a very small army there. That might not be a good idea to get three men over here. Where are you going? He's from Noregger as well. I'm not sure what they're doing. It seems quite dangerous. Population of Finland has been converted to Germanic faith, and speaking of which, I think we can move. So we go to chest. It's looking really good. The old Germanic faith is really being squashed. And here we are, moving in to Bruges. Meanwhile, the, the Duchess of Flanders is sitting on Artois. So we can just make, make our move on their capital and really get them in trouble. Let's actually have a look at um, the duchy. We can't do anything about the duchy, unfortunately. And this is the duchy of, of Flanders. So, well, well, we can't get that one. Yeah, hopefully. Siege of Clan of Urkno. Yeah, there was a raid going on there, I think. Or have they actually moved out? Well, they have actually moved out. It, it looks like... Wait, who are these? Well, apparently they can raid, so they raided my... Well, that might get... Uh, well, I, I, I just don't like Pickland. We're going to squash them very, very badly. We're, next thing we're going to do is just take over Ireland and then move in on Pickland. Uh, I was inspecting the damage to the highest tower in Bruges and the head of uh, Ragnar appeared outside the windows 15 meters above the ground. What should I do with this curious child? I could get honest or brave or wounded or maimed. And he thinks I attempted murder? Why? Teach him a lesson. Why would he... Why would he think I attempted his murder? He's brave, but he hates me. It's for some reason. No, he doesn't. I'm not sure why that was in there. It seems... Wow, and we already moved... Uh, 
did just as well. <laughs> it's going really fast there. Um. Oh, a Catholic uprising. That's not good. Can call in our banners to kill that as well. Uh, this is my cousin, educate, that's fine, and this is my half-sister also, just anyone, doesn't matter. Hopefully we quickly can... Oh, the white bear. Lately you have heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers in the wild, wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It's a white bear, powerful and elusive. The common folk claim it comes from another world and that the hunter who claims it will be imbued with divine power. And divine power. Well, I am already divine. I mean, I'm the, vil uh, the, the Vilkir. So, I must send people to find out probably a hoax but you know what doesn't matter so once I've got this I'm gonna fight the, um, the Catholics although technically I already am especially the ones next door right now in Ghent Actually, I should have a look at how old my son is. Eight. Okay, that's fine. So now we move this one to here. And a population of Finn has been converted. Speaking of which, we can move again. Um, this all looks fine. We can do that later. So I think I'm going to move her to here. Because Telemark has to be converted. And now we move in on these thousand men. Quickly dispatch them. Good. Now move in on them. Quickly. Can we get that before the siege is over? Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, we did it. So we're slowly killing these Catholics. The Aldom of Visby has been created. Uh, these are moving to Friesland where we will catch them again. They tried to move but to no avail and we captured them, offered them peace. And now he's in my dungeon and we can do something about it. We can banish him. Can execute him. We have a valid reason, just murder him. Good. He shouldn't have revolted. So now we move on to Bruges. Once more. And get that done. Can we also attack this? That might also be a good idea to get a strong grasp on this while we also attack Ireland. It's gonna be my plan. Caring for the sick and infirm is one of your if, is one of the duties of charity. There are people in our court that need help. Could visit one in prison or help one and gain or either I get a opinion uh, increase. Or I get that uh, same opinion increase, get humble and get some piety. And humble doesn't really matter if I get it, so let's do that. This is my other son, so let's educate him ourselves if we can. We can, so we do. 
Now let's see how good am I at stuff. I'm actually a good, brilliant strategist, so I probably don't even have to switch. So that's good. We have actually managed to kill some people by starvation. That's not really a nice, a nice thing. Victory, and we can just offer peace at this point. And it's ours. Good. Now, it's not really the right holdings, but for now, I don't. I don't mind. We will um, get rid of some once we are too big, but right now it doesn't matter. Um, so we can disband our armies. And... Well, apparently there were some others around somewhere. And... Shall we get a little bit of recovery? Well, to be honest, this doesn't hurt much to do, so... Actually, maybe we can just declare war on him. Conquest. Ask our help and just let them do it. Uh, apparently people have indeed sighted the Great White Bear and it should be in Shellen. So saddle my horse, we're gonna ride towards it. Meanwhile, all my men are moving in. A new bird has arrived to the Mew and a new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. You should start reading the book with a chance of getting um, inspiration or um, making no sense of it. Or I could go out on a hunt instead. Let's, let's just read a book. Although I did go for hunting, but you know what? Uh, the poetry is really boring, but uh, we could go on some falcony instead. Good. Uh, no, we don't want to marry Saxony. We don't want an ally there, so... No, 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 we don't want you. Just marry someone of your own court. Go away! Grab your followers and your hunting dogs and you saddle your horse and prepared your weapons, you're ready to set out to hunt the great white bear. Let's go. How's this war going? Oh, the Duchess is winning. Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wild. As you knock, a beautiful young woman opens. She pauses, then gives you a warm, inviting look and says, It's very lonely out here. I wonder if you will stay the night. Um, I could become lustful and say, of course. Get some extra diplomacy as well for, uh, for a time. I could get chased. Or I could get... Wrath. Because it's a treacherous vagrant, apparently. Um, wrath is... I uh, get some extra martial, but now I'm going to go with this one. The next morning, you awake with a warm body next to you. You spend a long, pleasant night in the cabin, but it's time to get back to the world outside. Your com um, companion looks you in the eyes, caresses you, and asks to stay a little longer. We could get her back to court. That seems like a good idea. Um, we can take her as my concubine. I'm going to do that. The white bear eludes me. But um, I managed to hunt and find the concubine, so that's good. I think, maybe. My wife is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Doubt besets me. Yeah, I was hunting. This isn't good. Apparently we also had war with um, Essex and we lost uh, Desmond. 
Um, I have sorted over and I cannot be the father of my wife in Ingfrid's baby. As it grows in my belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. Let's investigate. She can't have that happen. In the meantime, all um, all opposition is being crushed. Just the other day, skulking as I often do, I caught Regenburn of Cell and my courtier Swonia in Flagant. Lost in passion, they did not notice me, but I'm still in, uh, in shock. No, I don't mind, I mean... I think they're not even my direct vassal, so that's all, all fine. The maid I hired to gain my wife Infrid's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Um, I will confront her directly. Uh, Infrid started crying when I asked her about if, she, if she's being unfaithful. She profusely ensures of her undying love, virtue, and steadfastness. Okay. So I guess that's a good thing. Anyway, um, this has gone on long enough, so um, we uh, we actually did some good stuff this time. We managed to get a little bit of um, land from Flanders. We, I actually see the middle of uh, Francia is come again and Galicia's here. Of course. Why not? Um, so yeah, there is some room to expand in the future. Probably move on Pickland soon as we conquer Ireland and probably the tip here as well of Breton. So um, yeah, that's the plan for next time. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time. Cheerio. You are conversing with another guest when loud screams of passion interrupt. In one corner of the room, in full view of everyone else, King Halstein is engaged in carnal pleasures with one of the surfing girls. There we go. Ooh, and a big hit on Ark, who is almost da down. Oh, and they killed him. Bastards. A bishop brings you to your... Brings to your attention that false relics are being sold at a market. Oh. <gasps> A blasphemy! At great profits! Oh! I want those profits! Yes! We want those profits! <laughs>